let's be honest, if you can afford a supercar and the super maintenance, you gotta be successful. Like this guy. Hey Nick, how you doing? What's up, baby? Good to see you. Good. This is my place, it's my dealership. Come on in. Nick Cannon does it all. Comedian, rapper, entrepreneur, and still, he finds time for his exotic car collection. Welcome to my humble abode. Yeah, it is a humble abode. <laughs> Nick's a savvy guy. He's turned his hobby into a business. And now you can buy one of his actual cars. I actually just got this one. This is the 599. And the cool thing about this is that it has the same engine as the uh, end zone. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. That engine is priceless. No, it is. It's one of the great motors of all time. Yeah. And there's a smart investment right over there. <laughs> I bought my Ford GT in 2005. I think right. it was 130 something thousand. Right. And now they're going for 250, yeah, 300. They're so they're going up. But this is a 06. To me, I always thought it just it reminded me of like the old. Hot Wheels cars and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. You gotta have one of those. Oh, go. you, got, you gotta have one of those. Now, what was your very first car when you got your license? As a kid, at like 15, 16 years old, I worked at an auto mechanic shop oh, okay. to actually raise money to get like train fare and stuff to come do stand up at the comedy store. Right. So there was a old Volkswagen bug that didn't run. I would dedicate like two hours every day to cleaning it up myself. And the guy who owned the shop was like, you know what? You can go ahead, he, he let me have that car. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fell in love with cars working at that car shop as a teenager. Yeah, I was like, yeah. one day I'm gonna have my own shop as well. So how long you been here? Uh, very recent, we just moved in a few months ago. Like I would have four cars here, three there, and I didn't really have yeah. a place to put everything in. So I was like, now it's really time to have a facility. And everything's for sale, people can walk in. I've learned everything's always for sale. Wow. It's always, <laughs> and that whatever that price is. That was but there is one car in here that has a special meaning. Now this is a beautiful, this is a Rolls Royce. What year is this? Is this a new one? Yeah, this is a brand new drop head Rolls Royce. My grandfather, he always wanted a Rolls Royce and would always talk about one day I was gonna buy him a Rolls Royce. So I was like, you know what, when I could, I would. And this is his car. It makes you feel like, all right, I know my family has worked so hard. Yeah. And they help raise me and put me in the position that I am. So, yeah. you know, the, these are the, the fruits of his labor, I, yeah, I, I yeah. call it. Well, that. my dad used to call the Cadillac the Rolls Royce of automobiles. And I go, Pop, <laughs> you can't call it the Rolls Royce of automobiles. <laughs> the Rolls Royce <laughs> is the several of Oh no, it's the Rolls Royce. And, and he, they, okay, got it. And they hear him say, yeah, my boy got me a Cadillac. That's the Rolls Royce of automobiles. I go, Pop, <laughs> you can't say that, but, but that's fine. Grandpa. Now, what was your grandfather driving before the Rolls? I don't know, like a 73 Buick or something. 73 <laughs> Buick, <laughs> help me a step up. A little bit, a little bit. Enough talk, let's go for a ride. You know, I'm gonna take you on my Ferrari California, top down. Top down? Let's go, we got to, it's California. All right, let's do it. Let's get to it. Now, before we get going, I just gotta tell you this. I have a lot of supercars and stuff, but I'm not a fast driver. I'm really like, I'm a two miles an hour so everybody sees you. I like to cruise. Really, all right, well, let's cruise. We're in, we're in California, let's cruise. Yeah. Between you and me, I think Nick misses the whole point of these supercars. But hey, to each his own, who am I to say? So what is your vision for this dealership? What do you see happening? I started it just because of my love for cars and all of my friends saying, man, can you do this to my car? Can you find me a car? And I was like, well, this is a business. And because, you know, it was costing me so much money to actually refurbish cars. Now I can get a right, car to right. where I'm really happy with it and then I can sell it. Right, and right, make right. a profit. Sally, you hoping you could make a profit? Yeah, I'm hoping. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got some cars I want to show you, Jay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, what do you like doing more, comedy or music? Cause you're a good comic. Oh yeah. Honestly, I'd probably say stand up. It's yeah. You know, I love music. Music is like a right. passion. But stand up is how I started, and it's probably gonna be how I finish. They don't really allow you uh, to be in, in your 40s and 50s rapping. No, you can't. <laughs> stand up. You know, I can be like Don Rickles. That's right, yeah. <laughs> and they say as you get older, you get funnier. Well, you got more life experiences to draw from. You know, it's hard when you're 19 years old. Yeah, my first wife. What, what? <laughs> How old are you 19 years old? What are you talking about? Exactly, when I was 15 on stage, all I could talk about was like roaches and like puberty. And I was, and I was still going through that. Like, that was my whole set. When Panic did you shot. feel you had made it? Or maybe you don't even feel you I made, actually, I you know what? I don't feel that way because there's so many things that I want to do. Yeah, I mean, that's really the key. I don't think most successful people think they've made it. That's why they keep going. Yeah. You know? 
So if you don't like to go fast in a supercar, why a supercar? Uh, cause girls like it. Girls like it. There you go. <laughs> it's the simplest answer in the world. So what was the first car with a girl, if you follow my drift? Ooh, I, probably my, my mother's car. Your I mom's car. <laughs> That's sacrilege. <laughs> Does your mom know that? Probably not. So she's going to find out right now. She's about to find out right now. Mom, I am sorry. I am sorry you had to hear it this way. <laughs> sorry, Mom. Oh, man. <laughs>